Hi. Hello my YouTube friends. As you've probably noticed I've not made uh, any music videos for about a week because I've been um, busy doing a project. Right? Because there's this app right, you can download which is an Atari emulator. And you can download it for Mac. But the problem is you don't get no sound on later versions of the OS. So what I thought is I'll make my own GUI for an app for an app that's um, sorry. For this app, right, this is the original source page. This is the source code for the app, for the actual Atari 800 um, emulator. Right, so somebody's already done that, but it's got no GUI. You run it like from a DOS, from a like a, a command line prompt. And you have to input all the things by hand. You have to type them in and all that, like. So I thought I'd make myself an app that did it. So I've been working on Xcode right, for Mac, and I've wrote this app. Right, I wrote this app that basically like. The arrangements, the disk, the cassette, the cartridge file, the exe file, um, the ROMs, cassettes, that's set up there. And then you choose your disks, start button to start the app, and then you've got like your preferences view, which selects it. So here's the storyboard. <coughs> So that's the app, the main controller. So you can select your drives and the executable or cartridges, select like what um, what machine you're running, what scale you want it running at, what basic version, whether you want enable basic or not, and the preferences button, and then the preferences takes you to this screen where you can select your ROMs. Right, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it, so build, and run the app. Okay, so the app started. Now, here's the app, look. So you open your preferences, you select your... Um, your ROMs that you've got, like for your different OSs and your basic cartridges, right? And then you can select your model that you want, as long as you've got the ROM installed, the scale you want it at, uh, what revision of basic you want. So if I enable with basic, I press start. As you can see, like it comes up with the Atari screen. You close that. Disable the basic, load an executable file. So these are these are just executable games um, for the Atari 800. Uh, say Jungle Hunt. Press start. It'll boot to the Jungle Hunt. So the game boots to that, and then you could eject that. You can load cassettes, so say like a cassette, pole position, US gold, boot the cassette, start the emulator, press the space bar to load. There you go, pole position's loaded. So that's like emulating loading from a cassette. So stop that, eject the cassette, and you can load from a disc, insert a disc, um, Pac-Man, Right, start. As you can see, Pac-Man. 
that's loaded. So that's the discs. You could go to Guitari 800 XL. If you just press start with nothing selected, as you can see, you get the, the normal self test that you get on the original computer. Uh, cartridges, you can load a cartridge like Saxon ROM. Start. So it's normal 16K cartridge. Zaxxon game. I can't remember what it is to start. I've not got a joystick plugged in, but that's the game. So, anyway, this emulator that I've created right, which is just this screen I'll put a link in the description where you can download it and a link if you can if you want to donate to me like for, for creating the app because all the sound works and everything so right, that's basically it so I'm going to start making some other um, music videos uh, in the next few days so I just thought I'd let you know what's going on and if you want to download the app and you've got a Mac there'll be a link in the description and a link in the description where you can donate if you want to donate to me for making the app. Oh and you can uh, <clears throat> let me know in the comments what you think about the app and or if there's any problems with it, bugs or anything like, you know, comment down below and let me know like if you like the app, you know, just go into the comments and put something in there. If you've got any suggestions that you'd like putting into the app, like uh, maybe in the future I could add some other things that you want, you know, let me know down below and uh, we'll see if we can get on with it. So I'll catch you all later.